What's up squad, it's your squid. You already know what this video is about. Just using this time at the start of the video to say thanks to those guys. I like money, turning some of your money into mine would be dope. There's heaps of links in the description on how to get your name in that graphic, so check it out and let's just get into the try not to laugh at these funny moments in sports, shall we? Thanks for clicking on the title or the thumbnail or whatever it was that led you here, guys. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I was looking through other reaction channels for videos that were successful and got them lots of views and stuff, and so I thought, hey, why not try do a Try Not To Laugh challenge? And I figured also, most of my channel is oriented around sports, so why don't we do a Try Not To Laugh around sports? And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go, all right? I, I, I laugh at a lot of stuff. Uh, I haven't smoked yet today though, so who knows? Who knows? The reason we all love watching sports is because it can be so unpredictable, and that means the as, cameras sometimes. As always, if you want to watch this video without me reacting to it and without me trying not to laugh, if you just want to try not to laugh yourself, the links are in the description along with all the other links and all that jazz, as always. Just get the chance to capture some really funny moments. <laughs> Today we've collected some of the most amusing and ridiculous moments from all kinds of sports. So get ready, because it's impossible to watch this video without smiling. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't forget to do so, so you won't miss any of our new videos. Feel Let's free to go on. subscribe to him if our you want. Our goals are always seriously entertaining, but also so painful to watch. But this own goal might just be the worst one ever. Getting oh, an that's rough. Getting to be worse for the person oh, who's bro. Job is to keep balls out of the goal. Especially when he's just gone to all the effort He's not laughing. Not like, should I? Do I need to not react at all? Do I need to try and sit here? What are the rules with a try not to laugh? Let's set up some rules. I think I'll uh, la laughing. I, you know, we'll see how many times I laugh, laugh. But I think saying, "Oh no," maybe counts. Maybe doesn't. I don't know. Should we? Should we have it count? I think any reaction, laughing or shock. We'll see. Maybe match, I'll keep track of both. Forgot to let go of the ball, but it was a disaster for him. It actually looks like he thinks he saved it at the last second, mm. but that was wishful thinking. It was definitely an own goal. In sports, it's always wise to keep certain people on your side, like the people who have the power to determine your score. For example, you should definitely never hit the chair umpire in the face with a ball in the middle of a tennis match. It was definitely an accident, and everyone rushed to the 17-year-old's defense, but it sure cost him. Before being taken to the hospital, the umpire declared a default, sending his opponents to the semifinals. On the bright side, at least he didn't hit the ball boy who was standing under the umpire's chair and was so quick to duck. <laughs> there are mistakes, and then there are moments like this. Johan Zarco was on course to take 7th place at this MotoGP race when an unexpected nightmare occurred. He ran out of fuel. How does that happen at a professional event like this? I have no idea. But he's a true sportsman and decided to just run his Yamaha over the finish line and watch as people who had crashed earlier in the race managed to pass him. He looked completely exhausted by the end, but at least he got a point. A single, solitary point. If there's one surefire way to stop your opponents from really fighting, it's pulling cruel tricks like this. Jonathan Villar probably would have gotten to second base, but Brandon Phillips wasn't going to let that happen. He saw the play Villar was going for and decided to embarrass him by forcing him to slide face first into his butt. To add insult to injury, as if there wasn't enough of that already, Villar was also called out on the play, but they probably didn't need to because he'll definitely think twice before he tries that again and gives the whole world a view of his nose squished up against another man's butt. The first day of practice in F1 is all about calmly checking that everything's in order and every part of your car is working properly. And this is why that's necessary. Before you ask, no, the car didn't hit anything except maybe a bug, but probably not what even the fuck that. Turns out they were trialing a new suspension component on this car. Now, I don't know much about vehicles, but I'm willing to say I'm he shot the bed, sure. yeah. He probably would have preferred to find that out at a slightly slower speed than 180 miles per hour, but there were no injuries, so who can complain? Celebrating a goal is absolutely fine. You deserve it. Have fun. Although you might want to check first that your goal was actually a goal. Karim Balut was offside when he got the ball into the net, but he never stopped running to find that out. He just kept going, cheering and jumping up and down all by himself and hugging the spectators who, I guess, were just humoring him. He came back down to earth pretty quickly once he realized he'd been celebrating nothing, though. Karim, I'm sorry! 
always expect the unexpected when you're in sports, but still, nobody could have seen this coming, could they? This university runner was all set to win this 800 meter race when the pole vaulter next to the track made a mistake. Imagine his confusion when one second he's winning and the next moment he's all tangled up like an animal in a net. The best part about this clip though is the commentator who's loving it and keeps insisting that Spider-Man had something to do with this strange event. Spider-Man threw something at him. Spider-Man attacked him. <laughs> well, Spider-Man or no Spider-Man, they let the guy go to the finals. There are plenty of people out there that came last in every race on school athletics days that will sympathize with this runner. Sogolo Tuvalu wanted to compete in the shot put category in the IAAF, but he didn't qualify. So instead of just going home, he joined the 100 meter race. As you can see, it's not really his strength. And he achieved the slowest time in the history of sprinting, 15.66 seconds. It seems like a terrible idea, but he became kind of a hero to the crowd who were cheering him on much more than the winner. Professional football is one of the most difficult careers to get into. It's a highly competitive world, so you just know that everyone in uh, I don't know how recent this video is, but oh my god, recently, like in the last week or so, some Chinese dude bought a soccer team in China, a professional soccer team, and then made the coach play his son. Google it. It's fucking hilarious. Little fat Chinese dude playing professional soccer, and he sucks hard. But he's the owner of the team's uh, son. The linesmen and referees are the best of the best. And that makes little errors like this so much more funny. It's not even like he wasn't looking. He saw where he was spraying that line and thought, yep, that's right where I wanted it, and kept going. Those players don't look too impressed. The referee was probably lucky that's vanishing spray, or he might have gotten one of those shoes stuck somewhere unpleasant. There's dedication to your sport, and then there's serious dedication to your sport. This hurdle race saw a serious battle to the finish line by two runners from the Texas A&M team. Either teammate stood a chance of winning right up until the moment Infinite Tucker decided to take off and fly over the finish line like Spider-Man. It's pretty impressive, but unfortunately for him, he didn't actually have superpowers. He did win though, and I guess when you think about it, your face isn't that important if you're a professional runner. In tennis, it pays to be accurate. Just think of all those match-winning shots that would have been worthless if they hadn't gone straight down the line. Also, being accurate means you won't accidentally take out your own mixed doubles partner in the middle of a match at the biggest tennis championship on Earth. Although, it would have been a great shot if she was aiming for his racket-swinging shoulder. So, now there's a team made up of one person who can't aim and one person who can't use his arm. It's not exactly an ideal partnership, but hey, good luck to them. The world of sports is fraught with danger. It waits around every corner, like a snake poised to pounce from the place you least expect it. So you better keep your eyes open, even if you're not one of the players. You never know what might happen. For example, you might just forget where you put your scalding hot cup of coffee. This is oh, a reminder no. that it's good to never get too worked up about things. Stop and smell the coffee, and you might avoid burns on your butt. If there was a competition for the most incredible shot, if it had gone in the right basket, oh, that's this one movie. would be the winner. There's a huge struggle right. to defend the basket, which amazingly ends up being successful. And then this disaster happens. All James Young is trying to do is stop the ball from going out of bounds. And he never in a million years would have imagined he could get it in the basket if he throws it behind himself without looking. It's a genuinely great shot, but still, wrong basket. The crowd's still Rough. wild, though. It's probably best to stick to your own sport most of the time. Alex Rodriguez might have been a New York Yankees star, but give him a football and he seems hey, to be Rod. more like a bull in a china shop. Oh. That's not good. Maybe this wasn't really his fault. Which producer had the idea of letting the presenters throw footballs around a set full of monitors? This was bound to happen, right? What they needed was someone's mom on set to tell them not to throw balls indoors. That it never would have happened. It's not just humans who enjoy Look at all those rich cunts laughing about the smash the fucking flat least. screen too. It was bound to happen, None of them right? care. And I mean, obviously, it's just Fox Sports that are going to be paying for it anyway. Happen. Some it's nameless, faceless guru, but sports. You've probably still. played fetch with a dog at least once, for example. Most animals don't try to go pro, though. And who can blame them when nobody's willing to put animals on a team? But this squirrel had a dream, and it wasn't going to let anyone stand in its way. It was going to prove it could run with the best of them. And it sure can. There's a touchdown! Perfect play from the unknown squirrel. <laughs> it's Fuck, just I suck at this. before he gets signed with a display like that. This will make a lot of you feel better about your luck. It turns out even basketball stars sometimes embarrass themselves in front of beautiful women. Nigel Hayes obviously didn't realize his microphone was quite so sensitive when he revealed his thoughts about a reporter in a whisper to his teammate. Gosh, he's beautiful. Obviously, something mm. about the looks on everyone's face told him he made a mistake. The poor guy probably could have styled it out if he thought I really suck at this. I just laughed again, didn't I? To say, but he just ended up with his head in his hands while his friends giggled at him.
When you find yourself in the middle of the action, it's vital you keep your eyes on both your opponents and your teammates. That's a whole lot of looking to do, so it must get difficult, but that's no excuse for taking your eye off the ball. Never presume it is where you left it. You end up looking like this. Whoops! Oh my goodness! At that level, kicking blindly into the air when the ball is behind you is just too funny. You'll have to work hard to regain proper respect after that. Always be sure to look at the ball before you kick. Is that it? Is that the end? Yeah, that's the end of that video. I think I've failed. I uh, think I failed pretty hard. I have no idea what the total is, but while I edit, I'll watch it and I'll, I'll keep a running total and that's it there, you know? Um, that's how many times I laughed or cringed or, you know, reacted in general. Let me know if you guys think these try not to laugh stuff is something you want to uh, see more of and whatnot. Send me links to uh, more videos to do and whatnot. These guys are supporters of the channel. I like money. They give me theirs. You could give me yours as well. There's links in the description on figuring out how. And um, yeah, I'm going to keep recording and stuff. But that was not as bad as I anticipated, but I think I still failed. <laughs> I'll see you when I look at you. You'll see me when you look at me. Thanks for watching, guys.